So this is a typical flip-up license plate holder. It's mounted on the front air dam that goes just under the bumper on my S10 electric pickup. Um, underneath it I have mounted a switch with a built-in LED indicator that will enable the charger and also have a flashing light pattern that tells me what's going on. Um, I have two separate inlets, your standard um, J1772 electric vehicle charging inlet taken off of a salvage Nissan Leaf, as well as a more typical RV 15 amp extension cord inlet here. Um, I have a rotary switch here that will select between different modes. I can do 12 amp 120 volt opportunity charging through that guy. Um, flip it one over, do equalization charging if you're top balancing the battery pack. And then the two standard settings will be an 80% battery charge for maximum battery life or a 100% battery charge for basically maximum range. Um, this guy here accepts your standard EV charging gun and that's what I'll be using for charging primarily. Goes in like that. Um, but if I happen to be someplace where they just have an extension cord, put this thing over like that and just plug in the standard extension cord. I'm actually probably going to be wiring up a couple of relays such that if somebody plugs an extension cord in here it will automatically override this switch to the 12 amp 120 volt setting regardless of what the user has this set to so that anybody who plugs something in there it'll just work. Also it'll require there to be 120 volts on these pins before it will attach it to the charger so that these two will never be connected together at the same time so that these pins inside this inlet here will never be hot and energized if that guy's plugged in. And then of course um, underneath these two holes I have some magnets which connect up to the bolts that attach the license plate in so that once I close it and push it in those holes it's latched in with the magnets and that keeps it from bouncing around as I'm going down the road.